Okay, sob people, today we are cutting the roof off of this 9.5. I know this video has been long awaited, but we're finally gonna get it done because I have to chop off a little piece of body on my car that's all rusty and then weld in a new piece using something off of this. Here's the part that we have to cut out. Remove this weather stripping here. See right there, that's all rusted. It's rusted all here all around in a giant square like that. So I'm just gonna cut the whole thing out, then use our benders to fashion a new piece. That damage is the same on both sides on my car, so we're gonna have to do it twice. So let's get started on cutting the roof off. <laughs> Not sponsored. I got cutters right here. If you can lift it up, flop her up, I'll cut it. Boom, car explodes. Huh. Yeah, more stuff to cut. Who'd have thunk it? Fran, some of your folding money's come unstowed. Ouch. Only caught on fire a couple of times. Not far enough. Right around the front of the windshield. Best investment ever. Yeah, we're gonna have to cut those cords back there. Yeah. Oh, well, they're not really cords, I guess. Uh, it's just a vent for your water that goes down your sunroof roof. Through... Gotcha. Excavate. You got one on your side, you wanna pull that off? Yeah, sure. Another sport here. That one. Oh, sir. Here. Here. Interesting. It's almost like I can tell you've been doing this for a long time. I love it. I love it a lot. I like it a lot. So 
that little thing will have it. We'll drop it right down the inside of the car. Understand. Just keep slicing more. Slice her up. It's all going in the car anyway. Looks like we're good. That was a close one. Almost <laughs> fell right off. There's the inside of the car. Found the rat's nest. No wonder it stank. <laughs> Man, so many parts in here people could have used. Too bad. We don't know anybody with nine fives. in the way. I'll drop something heavy on them. <laughs> yeah, those are the seats we couldn't get out. Too bad I pulled all those fuses, but they weren't in great shape anyway, so. So our plan for this is to drop as much scrap in here as possible so we can clean up the yard a bit, and then we're gonna get rid of it, and that'll be a double whammy. We get rid of this thing and all the scrap that's in the yard. So then what's next right now is to cut as many flat body panels off so we can use it to repair other vehicles that have rust damage. And I guess then a piece of the 9.5 will be in every other car. All right, so I forgot the GoPro today and to, to go get it would be a four hour drive. So we're using the phone and uh, yeah, sorry about the poor quality for like the best video on this channel. Anyway, let's get started on this trunk here. So as you can see, the cutter stopped cutting because it kept arcing where the connection was for ground. So we had to reset the connection. I'll go ahead and skip forward to when the plasma cutter was actually working the way it was supposed to. All right, so I just tried swapping ground onto some thicker metal with a better connection. So hopefully that does it. Yeah, so we just had really bad ground on the plasma cutter here, but now we have the entire top of the trunk ready to come off. All right, so I'm sorry I couldn't show you guys, but I mean, I got the top of the trunk off like that. So now the next move is to do the hood. I'll, I'll have my dad film so I can actually get this on camera this time. Oh, fell right off. 
good thing I didn't slice my finger on that mirror I just grabbed. Or not the plasma cutter off, that was really expensive. Oh, nice. Ugh, disgusting. Dad and I call this sucker Old Faithful. It's the largest pry bar we have. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and go follow my Instagram. Thanks.